Hi guys, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Uh, I've got a, a little story for you actually this week. Uh, but before I can do that, I've got to run off and do a very, very quick gig on my friend Phil Cooper. Uh, so in the meantime, if you could uh, like this video and subscribe to this channel, that would be amazing. I won't be long. See you soon. Okay, I guess this will have to do. I was hoping to find somewhere a bit more picturesque with a nice background, but it's too foggy to see really very far in front of you. So um, yeah, I'll just tell you the story. So um, uh, I wanted to talk to you about the, the situation that uh, kind of inspired me to do, to do the video I did a few weeks back about replacing negative behavior with positive action. Um, and what happened was uh, I was taking my elder two kids down to Devon to, to visit their mum for the Christmas holidays. It was in between Christmas and New Year. So it was a bank holiday. Uh, and on the way down, on a pretty dangerous part of a dual carriageway, my car broke down, completely died. Uh, and my breakdown cover meant that um, I, I couldn't get towed to either destination, either back home or down to Devon. I could only get towed um, 10 miles from, from where I'd broken down from, which was absolutely no good to me whatsoever. Um, so it was a very, very stressful couple of hours trying to work out what we were going to do. Uh, in the end, I had to get a taxi, which cost a small fortune, um, to take us 20 minutes to the nearest town, which was Yeovil. Um, and from there, we had to visit two train stations. One train station was where the kids took their train um, down to Devon. And then uh, I had to go to a separate train station and get a train back home. Um, I had to kind of abandon the car and deal with it on another day. Um, in the end, uh, the kids kind of ended up going, uh, waiting for about half an hour for their train, I think, um, and then they were they were on their way. So that was all good. That was a, that was the important thing. Uh, but for me, I ended up stuck in this kind of tiny little um, station platform, uh, right in the middle of nowhere, uh, and I had to. It was freezing cold. It was chucking it down with rain. And, um, and my train wasn't due for two and a half hours. So, and, and to make matters worse, my um, my phone battery was on nine percent. I'd been making so many phone calls and to try and sort the situation out um, that you know I was stuck there for two and a half hours with nine percent battery. And by this point, you know, left completely alone on this train station. You know, my head was whirling around and around, and I was just so stressed out. And I had to do something about that. Shut up, birds! I'm trying to make a vlog. So I decided um, that with that 9% battery, I would um, I'll just shoot some footage, you know, just to kind of recalibrate my mind, you know, and, and stop my head from spinning around so much. But during those 10 minutes, it kind of, it took me out of myself. It, it kind of um, slowed my, my brain down uh, to the point where once the battery ran out, you know, and I was still had two hours or so left of waiting on the train, um, I was in a better position to spend those two hours um, thinking more productively uh, about what I was going to do moving forward, and so yeah, it, it was yeah, it was just spending those ten minutes uh, doing something that I love doing, creating something 
to just really kind of like put my mind on a better track you know otherwise I would have just spent two hours pacing up and down a platform stressed out in my brain which would have been no good for anyone you know I would have probably thrown myself in front of the train when it arrived you know but you know as it turned out you know it's kind of a one of the best things that happened to me because it just really forced me to sort of stop and and take stock and, and look at where I am in life and and where I want to be going forward when the train finally arrived um, I plugged in um, I looked at the the footage that I'd taken I took a little bit more footage and I spent the 45 minute train journey um, just putting it together on a little app on my phone called video shop um, and I sent it to everyone you know and the family everyone that, that knew what I'd been going through that day and said hey yeah you know I, I made a little film you know a 30 second film you know just to let everyone know that I was okay you know and, and you know that you know everything's good so I've still got no car uh, a friend of mine has been really really kind and, and lends me their car whenever I need to go to a gig so that's the car I've been using today um, but you know I've not been stressing out trying to find a car normally I would just go straight out there and just buy a car you know and, and end up with a crap one again you know um, but this time I've just thought you know phew, there's more important things to worry about you know so that's what I've done you know I will get a car uh, I need to save up some money in fact I'm gonna put a PayPal link in the description of this video uh, uh, let's call it the find Jamie a car fund I'm just kidding I'm not really gonna do that I'm not kidding no I am I'm just joking I, I, I wouldn't do that I'm not joking so I just really want to let you know that you know when, no matter how bad things get you know more often than not it's just your head spinning around and around and around that that makes it seem worse than it actually is you know the reality is, is is if you can kind of step out of yourself and find something that allows you to do that um then you know suddenly everything doesn't seem quite as bad you know and you're in a better position to be able to deal with it so anyway i'm gonna stop waffling now um i hope you've enjoyed this video such as it is Take care of yourselves and each other and uh, I'll see you in a couple of weeks.